There you are. Le roi des Thunes, Lieutenant. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Tunes is in that bit of trivia an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse François, Marquis de Sand. Do pay me a visit when you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Night's getting cold again. You don't seem worried. I know where the chimneys are. What chimneys? The ones his grace had put in when he took over down below. Sleep on one though. Double time, lads. Grace isn't fond of tardiness. Closer. Don't touch me. Get back. Rather sooner than you think, I'm sure. Is it true what he did to Thierry? I remember the man's screams and how long they lasted. And that was for an accounting error. You're joking. I thought he'd skimmed off the take or some such. Nope. He misplaced a one in a ledger. Right. Double time it is.
Get him inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside! The order for the unfortunate who dead six. All of them burned in a fire that killed his family and drove them mad. A burn job? Do you know how hard those are to get right without burning half the district to ash? Use a few drops of the strong acid. Layman can't tell the difference. a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God. Not help me.
Piss off, you lot. Should smoke them out.
these convenient lampposts to hit you up! What's happened? The feathers. They're rioting all throughout the district. You men, with me. reports that an assassin is nearby and that, that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, wait, oui, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. Embarrassing.
My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a King of the Gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It's done. Delacere is dead. Grandmaster. Good. Just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, you must have a roi d'étude. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? But where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop 
Nearly on. Thank you. Mon chance. Over here. Hello, my friend. look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, Mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arno. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de Lassaire's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Oppose on pay. 
You should keep it. It'll do no one any good mouldering in a forgotten crypt. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. The King of Beggars and Siver were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed de la Serre, a pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays. Arno, what cheer? Un homme bien étrange. Oui, 